In this video, I will be unboxing, testing, setting up and firmware updating the D-Link Wi-Fi gaming router model DIR2640. The router comes in a big nice box. I'm unboxing it now. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. So as you see, the router is well packaged. It has some cards in it. This is application installation card on your smartphone or your smart device. This is user manual, support card, and the Google Home setup instructions. It's a large router that is really well made. As you see, it has four antennas. Two antennas for reception and two other antennas for transmission. And the ports and the controls of the router are almost all on the back of it. Ethernet cable. And the power adapter. So as I said earlier, the controls of the router and the connections are on the back. You have your power, on off, WPS, Wi-Fi, the, the Ethernet connections also, and the USB 2.0 connection on the back. On the front there's a USB 3.0 connection, in case you want to share media files. And the yellow Ethernet port is to connect the router to the Internet provider modem with the provided cable. And here I'm connecting the power adapter. I'll be installing the router and connecting it physically to a laptop to set it up. Here is the router connected and operated. The LEDs are power, internet, 2.4 GHz, Wi-Fi, 5 GHz, Wi-Fi, USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. So as I said, I connected the router physically to my laptop. Once I go to the router page, which is, which is 192.168.0.1, the router directly present me with the agreement page, click on agree, and then this is the wizard to install the router because it's its first installation. Just click on next, it will detect your internet connection. Here I have the DHCP connection with my internet provider. Then you have to choose your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password. So here it will configure the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz on the same SSID because it's a dual band router. Here it will prompt you to choose the administration password. So choose a strong password and click on next. The time zone, it detects automatic, automatically that I am in the eastern time zone. And then I chose to keep my router up to date all the time. Once you click on finish, it takes about three minutes to set up. I'm accelerating the process here. Log into the router once again to test if it's working. Here it's still booting up. I don't know if you can see on the Bottom right corner, you see the Wi-Fi connection is not connected yet on my laptop. You have to wait about a minute and the router will boot up and the internet connection will be provided. As you're going to see here, I refresh the page and the internet connected showed up. Here I'm testing up the wired speed connection of the router. I have a 15 megabit per second download speed and 10 megabit per second upload speed. I'm getting a little bit more, which is great. I 
And then I also done a speed test to compare this new router to the old router that I replaced, which was the Deer 826L. As you see on the top part of the screen is a new router. It's almost three times faster than the old router it replaced. Now to update the firmware, log into the router from any PC on the network. Here I'm choosing the PC that is connected directly, physically to the router. The router directly, if there's a firmware update, it will detect it. I chose you to apply it. It will take me to the upgrade page. There are some settings that I didn't finish. I will finish them now. This, these settings are the scheduled installation of the updates. So here I'm enabling the upgrade time and I'm choosing to do the update at midnight. This is for automatic updates. Now because I'm on the page directly, I'm, I will click on check for new firmware after I save the settings of course. So check new firmware for new firmware and it will find a new version of the firmware. All you have to do at this stage is to click Upgrade Firmware. It takes about 3 minutes to update the firmware. I'm accelerating the video here. When the firmware is being installed to the router, it's very important that you don't turn off the router. After the firmware update finishes, click on OK and the router will boot up and it will take about a minute to connect to the internet and provide internet to the Wi-Fi again. Here the firmware is updated.